Tonight on Punchline. Two teams of comedians use today's headlines to come up with the best punchlines. Starring Melissa Peterman. With our guests, Fortune Feimster. Lace Larrabee. Tom Papa. And Dwayne Perkins. And now here's your host, Melissa Peterman. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Punchline. Okay. You know, I just want you to sit back and relax because this is not rocket science, okay? <laughs> this is comedy, which is actually harder because we're not that bright. <laughs> Facts. So how do we play this game? It's very easy. I'm gonna give these two teams of amazing comedians a headline and they are gonna come up with the punchlines. Then you, the audience, decides which team is funniest. You ready for that? Yeah. Yes! You get to judge people immediately. How fun! And the winning team at the end of the show gets $1,000 for the GoFundMe campaign of their choice. Very nice. Are you ready to get started? Hello, Fortune. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Fortune. Let's <laughs> casually lean like this. How's it going? <laughs> it's going real well. I'm just hosting. Uh, you're doing a great job. Really? Yeah, you look beautiful. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I felt like this was maybe too like real estate agent, but then I thought of the like then maybe the you know the, the feathers sort of rock and yeah. roll it up. No, well, I would buy a house from you. You'd buy, I'd like yeah. to see you in that house, and I can get you good financing. Hey. <laughs> Um, you, uh, tell me what you're doing. You're, she's one of the funniest people ever. What oh, are we? it's true. It's true. Um, yes. No, I, uh, I'm uh, on tour right now. I'm doing stand-up all over the country. So Ooh. you can go to my website. Uh, check it out. Which is good, because you used to just go door to door, yeah, right? Yeah, I was like, who wants a joke? Yes, that was, <laughs> this is much better, much better. And you can go to your website and find out? Yep. Okay, so Tom, Papa, Hi. amazing. <laughs> Comedy for a long time. You're an actor, a writer, an author, um, all these things. So I just want to ask you a question. So, like, um, if the setup of a joke is like the foundation, what is the punchline? Uh, the punchline would be the uh, the penthouse. The penthouse. <laughs> yeah. Tom, Papa, right there. Very wise yeah. man. <laughs> all right. Are you guys uh, ready to do this? Yeah. Now remember, each headline is worth 10 points. I don't know why I'm holding a pen, maybe because I'm wearing such a real estate jacket. I don't know. But I am. Here we go. Here's her first headline. According to Ranker, the worst things to say on a first date are, my ex was so much hotter, or you look better in your picture. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. That's rough out there. Comedians, what's another terrible thing to say on a first date, Fortune? I'm wanted in three states. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, what's another terrible thing to say on a first date? So when are you due? Okay. <laughs> Okay, unless someone's asking you to help cut an umbilical cord, never ask a woman if she's pregnant, okay? <laughs> okay, all right. Hi, guys. Hey, hi. I'm gonna give you the same uh, uh, he headline here. So, um, you heard about it, terrible things to say in a date. Dwayne, what's another terrible thing to say in a first date? I don't know why I have my pen and I brought it over here. <laughs> um, it's not contagious anymore. <laughs> it's not contagious anymore. Lace, what's another terrible thing to say on a first date? Uh, I'm having a hard time reading this menu. Here, just let me lift my veil. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh. You guys want to hear mine? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. yeah, I mean, you guys are here. You go. Um, uh, I can't hear you through the glass. <laughs> you need to pick up the phone. <laughs> Fortune, uh, what is your final punchline? Another terrible thing to say on a first date. I really like you, and so does the little man who lives in my eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Oh, terrible. Oh, creepy! 
<laughs> terrible. Believe me. Dwayne and Lace, another terrible thing to say on a first date. Final punchline. Um, sorry, no wine for me. The OBGYN said it's a bad idea in the second <laughs> trimester. <laughs> See it, tell me. What are you doing? Voting, voting. Come on and vote. Come on. Come, come on, on and vote. Come oh, guess what? You know who took that one? Oh, Tommy Fortune! Yeah. 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 Ten points. Yeah. Woo! Good. That means you've got ten points here, yes, zero points yes, here. Yes. Are you ready for your uh, second headline? But first, I Dwayne, am, yes. how are you? I'm great. You look very handsome today. Oh, thank you very much. And, and you look very uh, real estatey. Oh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> What could I do to get you into my house? I <laughs> 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 was inappropriate. No, it's okay. It's and now I know I, I brought my pen so I could give you my phone number if you needed it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lace, you are hysterical. Yes, I just feel you. like everyone should see your romper, so please come out from a, Let's behind see the door. I like that. Is that called a romper as well? Uh, I'm... It's called a stomper. A stomper. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a romper and a stomper? <laughs> I'm gonna write that down. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, are you ready for your second headline? Yes. Police found a rattlesnake, whiskey, and uranium in a car when they pulled it over for running a red light. <laughs> Comedians, that almost sounds like a country song. So why don't you give us a few bars? Twain. Uh, I'm thinking, I've got friends in prison places. <laughs> well <done. laughs> All right, Lace, that sounds like a country song. So give us a few bars. All right, uh, this is going to be more of a, of a country hip hop mashup. Oh, good. All right. <laughs> My rattlesnake don't want none unless you got your rainy young. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, could, you couldn't see that, but I twerked back here. You did twerk back I there twerked in back your romper. Here in my romper. All right. I saw it. Go. Oh my God. I mean, where was he going? I mean, whiskey, <laughs> rattlesnake, and uranium? Fourth of July, baby. Fourth of July. <laughs> yeah. America! America! All right, Fortune. That almost sounds like a country song. And I know you're wearing a stomper, and I want to hear you give us a few bars. Give me a few bars. <clears throat> okay, I'm from the South, so this is my jam. Okay. okay? Uh, Rattlesnakes, whiskey, and uranium. Please don't put that in my bum. <laughs> Sell it to me. I already bought the record. Thank you. I already bought that record. Tom, that sounds like a country song, so give us a few bars. If you make me sing on the game show, I'll shoot you in your face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't, that's good. Good enough. I'm gonna stay over here. Um, you guys, uh, so uh, what is your final punchline? I'm thinking uh, not working nine to five anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little afraid to ask this, you guys, but uh, Tom and Fortune, what is your final punchline? He will for real shoot you in the face. Okay, you know what? <laughs> You guys, <laughs> who was funnier? Okay, you know what? Their threats worked because <laughs> you guys won. <laughs> that means you have 20 points. You guys have zero points, but that was okay because when we come back, there's gonna be more headlines and more punchlines. It's still anybody's <laughs> game. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
exciting time on Punchline. We've got 20 <laughs> points here and zero points here. But you know what? It's okay, don't feel bad for them. They're very funny, I believe in them. Yeah. <laughs> You know, uh, don't don't feel sympathy for them either. Yeah. Maybe, just maybe, they deserve it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. He has a gun. <laughs> He's threatened us. Um, Tom and Fortune, if you guys do win uh, today's episode, you get to donate a thousand bucks to GoFundMe campaign. Which one would that be? Uh, it's for the Chicago Maritime Art Center. They oh. yeah, they give um, great. They give uh, boat building classes to kids in Chicago. Boat building? Boat building, oh, yeah. Oh, very cool. I like that. Yeah, it's a handy skill. For children. It's a, it's a boat building for children. I like this. <laughs> I love it. I think it's good. <laughs> Dwayne and Lace, if you guys win, who are you going to give to? Uh, a, a company called Lights for Hope, and they help families in Florida during the holiday season. Florida. Yeah. Florida. We can't no calm, one cheers calm for down. Tampa. No, yeah, no one. It doesn't mean they're voting for them. <laughs> We're not voting for Florida now. <laughs> Somebody needs to. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready for your next headline? Yes. Okay, here we go. A new workplace survey estimates that nearly 14 million super. Are you watching? Well, hi. Okay. <laughs> I got so distracted. <laughs> A new workplace survey has estimated that nearly 14 million Super Bowl viewers call in sick on the Monday after the game. Yeah. This phenomenon has a name, Super Sick Monday. <laughs> Comedians, let's hear your best calling in sick routine. Dwayne? Yeah, it's a 24-hour it's a Ebola, but I should be fine tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Ladies, what is your best uh, calling in sick routine? Oh, yeah, uh, my rattlesnake got in my uranium again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. You know, although, you know, a lot of people I know, they bring that kind of stuff, you know, to everywhere. You know, baby shower, whatever. Oh, you know. that's, uh, that's called an Alabama baby shower. Alabama baby shower. Whiskey, Anyone. rattlesnake, and uranium. I like yep. it. <laughs> okay, all right, Fortune, let's hear your best calling in sick Routine. All right, this is my phone. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, space work. Oh, I'm gonna back off. There's space work. All right. Work. Uh, hey, hey, Bob. Oh, uh, it's for yes, it's Fortune. Have I told you? <laughs> you are a great guy. <laughs> yeah, you are a great guy. This is so embarrassing. Um, yeah, I yeah I I know I've done this before. Uh, <laughs> but listen, I can. Ex what happened? I know I said I wouldn't call again. Uh, uh, Bob? Bob? <laughs> he hung up. <laughs> you know, what I loved about that, Fortune, it was, it was A, the length, mm. and, <laughs> and the commitment throughout. Yeah. Like, it was, like, I, I already pictured Bob in my head. Yeah. Like, I knew what he looked like. 100%. He was wearing a blazer similar to this. <laughs> And like working there anyway, uh, I enjoyed that. Thank so you. Um, I got fired, just so you know. You did? Yeah. <laughs> From your fake job that yeah. you're calling in sick, dude. That's so sad. <laughs> All right, Tom Papa, let's hear your best calling in sick routine. I do mine on speakerphone. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, Bob. <laughs> it's Fortune's friend. <laughs> what she was trying to say is, uh, she has syphilis. Okay, Dwayne and Lace, what is your final punchline? Um, hey, listen, I don't believe I can come in today, and if I don't believe in myself, uh, <laughs> how can I expect anyone else to? Boom! <laughs> that is good! Oh, and a fold-up phone! A fold-up flip phone! Okay. <laughs> Tom and Fortune, final punchline. Best sick routine. Uh, we're going to call on uh, CB now. <laughs> hey, Bob. <laughs> Ten four. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Audience, who was funnier? Wayne and Lace or Tom and Fortune? A lot of space work, a lot of laughs. 
Oh. Where are we going for? Where are yeah, we going on this go. one? We, we, okay. we gave you All right, everything. you know what? Wait. Oh, Bob just called. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's why I have my pen! Bob just called and he said that Tom and Fortune, you guys took that round. <laughs> to zero, but that's okay, because this is the speed round. I'm gonna give a headline, and each team has 30 seconds to come up with punchlines. When time is up, the audience scores on a scale of one to 100. Dwayne and Lace, you guys are behind, so I'm gonna give you guys uh, the first shot here. So, here is your headline. Upbeat News recently had an article featuring funny bumper stickers with, in with entries like, yes, this is my truck, or no, I won't help you move. And I think, therefore, I'm single. Comedians, what does your bumper sticker say? Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. That's not there, and go. You, are you? Uh, baby maker on board. <laughs> um, I, need, I need money, please hit my car. Or, or just hit me, I really need money. <laughs> Our son will be an honor student. Oh, oh good. Um, uh, not drunk, uh, just a really bad driver. <laughs> My other car is feet. <laughs> oh. uh, will, 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 I'll finish quick, time will up. break for validation, please. Yes, <laughs> I like it. Audience, well done. Time to vote, one to 100, how'd they do? 70 points! Oh! Yeah, it was 70, I like it! We did it! All right, team, it is your turn. You ready? Let's yes. put 30 right. seconds on the clock. What does your bumper sticker say? Go! Oh! Uh, uh, I love Bush. <laughs> Senior! <laughs> Keep going, oh. you got 30 seconds! Baby on, <laughs> there's pens, baby on board, and driving. <laughs> Uh, honk if you're horny, honk, honk. <laughs> I'll meet you at home. Ooh. Uh, uh, je uh, Jesus, take the wheel. I have anger issues. <laughs> Bob on board. Time's up. Bob on board. Bob on board. Uh, Bob on board. Bob on board. <laughs> Audience, how do they do? They got 60 points. Uh, All right, that means our scores I'm are, you can have my bracelet. It is 90 to 70. Coming up, it is photo finish. One of these teams oh, is going to win when we come back. to 70. And it is time to play Photo Finish. We like that one. We have a series of photos we will show you and our fabulous comedians will provide the punchlines. Our audience will score the punchlines on a scale from one to 100. And the team with the most total points wins it all. Dwayne and Lace, you guys are behind, so we are gonna start with you, okay? okay. Let us put 45 seconds on the clock. Here is your first photo. Ooh. Dwayne. Now that's Cougar Pride. <laughs> uh, hey, Taraji, we can see you. <laughs> Guys, how funny? What are we give him? 70, that's photo. Aw, Dwayne. I am so gonna pee the carpet when we get back home. <laughs> uh, looks like somebody's having a rough day. Oh, all right, audience, how funny was that one? 80, nice job. Uh, Next photo. Oh. Oh no, I can't eat donuts. They go straight to my eyes. <laughs> Wait. Um, I do not believe what that woman's wearing. Audience, <laughs> what'd you give him? Seventy. Nicely oh, done. Yeah. Time is oh. up. Well done. Is that it? it is. 
voice. Ooh. I like that voice lace. All right, that brought you guys up to 290 oh. points. You're winning. Oh. All right. To continue your lead, you got to take this one home. You guys That's, ready? It's a lot of pressure. Okay. All right, let's put 45 oh. seconds on the clock. Here is your first photo. Uh. Go. Can you hear me now, DJ Jazzy Jeff? <laughs> Can I get 1986 on the line? Audience, how funny was that? 70 oh, points, right. next photo. I pulled my head out of the sand for this. <laughs> They're making burgers out of what now? Audience, what are you give them? One to 100, what do they got? 70 points, all right, next photo. Aw, <laughs> uh, crimping ain't easy. <laughs> If Fabio was a horse. <laughs> our audience, very funny, what we give him? 70 points. Next photo. Uh, oh, uh, that would have been great what? what you would have said. My time is up. OK, was that enough? We're Let's see what they got. To the win. Oh, to the win. Yes, it did bring you to the win. on the next punchline. And remember, laugh as often as you can, because guess what? It's free. free.